Hey y'all, it's your girl Chrissy Too Real and I'm back with another story time. Y'all, this is a story time about the time my coworker died in the bathroom at work and I quit my job because it was very traumatic and I was scared to go to the bathroom after that. And I will leave out where I worked and the person's name and stuff because that is somebody loved one and I wouldn't want to hear a story about that. So this is no disrespect if is somebody that know where I used to work or know what happened it's no disrespect and please don't tell nobody in the comments about it because there is somebody loved one I hate seeing videos and people like when people see their loved one on the internet dying or something don't do that I feel like this in very poor taste don't do it come on out anyway y'all let me get a little swig of this saint petersburg <laughs> it's strong like it's like it's something from saint petersburg or i don't know yeah if you don't put that bullfrog in your throat it ain't worth the gulp baby come on out anyway y'all when i first came to, i i quit well i quit left college i was in college for at least about three four years it was about to be yeah it was four years because it was about to be my last year but i told my mom i was going to school to be a veterinarian vet tech and i told my mom i didn't want to go back it, it just my anxiety it, it, i couldn't do it so i was moving to atlanta and i told my mama that i didn't want to go back to college so she said i'm gonna pay your rent for one month that's all you get so I found a factory job. Had to wear steel toe boots. My toes are still messed up. I got a corn on my toe and they they not that bad. They not that ugly, but they been through some things. My toes ain't been right since. But anyway, I spent a year y'all working at this factory. They did make bottles. That's all I'm gonna say. Like it was a factory and they made bottles or whatever. And um the lady that passed away it was the lady that do the inspections on our bottles like she would make her rounds she was so sweet nice lady um was married had kids i think or whatever but um the day it happened i was working you know she always come around and make her rounds so i was working and this is a factory where you work 12 hour shifts i worked seven to seven so um she was making her rounds she seemed she was telling me about her game you know the farmer game that you play the game like you grow um crops and stuff a game like that so she was always tending to her crops honey and whatnot but anyway she was such a sweet lady I didn't know her person like that. I only know, knew her through work and I never had no problems with her. She just came around and inspected the bottles. And if it was a problem, that's who you would go get so she can come look at it or she would um, see it probably before you saw it because I, I was that good, honey. Because I'd be packing them bottles, baby. It'd take me a while. I've been to do about 10 boxes before I realized it's bubbles and all type of stuff in these bottles. But anyway, so this day in particular, she came by i ain't seen nothing you know strange about how she was acting or nothing like that but around um like i had been working on this last machine because you keep swapping machines like you go everybody rotate so i had to use the bathroom so i go to the bathroom and i heard somebody in there um breathing hard like very hard and the person was like can you help me and i'm like i seen the person up under the stall their pants was down and they was breathing really hard and it was like can you help and it was just me and the person in this bathroom and it was a pretty small woman's bathroom it was lockers in there and so i went to her stall like mind you you know this somebody who a older woman and or who you don't like you know they probably don't want to see you with their pants down or nothing so i knew it had to be something serious because she was asking for help from somebody a stranger basically or somebody that she worked with that could you know see her in an uncomfortable 
spot. And so I went in there. Ooh, excuse me. I went in the bathroom, y'all. And she was, her pants was down. You know, I don't even remember none of that. I just remember panicking, not panicking, but like helping her, like pull her pants up and get them up. And um, when she came out the bathroom, I helped her sit down on the on the bench that was right there. And she was like, you know, breathing hard or whatever. And then she just fell backwards. So I ran out the bathroom and got the manager and i said she need help in the bathroom and i never went back in the bathroom after that i had to go back to my job i kind of just stood there while they all rushed in there so i'm packing bottles i'm back packing bottles and i'm just waiting for like her to come out the bathroom and she never did she the the ambulance got there and i seen her Ooh, I seen her get, uh, that That was when I finally saw her come out of the bathroom when the ambulance got there, when paramedics got there. And they just had her on the stretcher and one paramedic was on top of her just, and her body was just lifeless. And it was just, he was just pumping, pumping, like pumping. He was like straddled on top of her. Like imagine somebody climbing on top of you and, and they still pushing the gurney out like they were still pushing the, the the thing out of the the building and it was just pumping 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 so i was just waiting to hear like as morning came up you know nobody had heard nothing i was just praying like god let this lady be okay because i done seen her at this job um you know like i was just hoping she was okay like you know everybody was so when i came back to work the very next day the lunch you know where you take your lunch break the um break room it was candles on all the tables y'all oh and i just felt so sad because it was like no she didn't make it and me it bothered me me being the like i just when you just talk to somebody and everything was okay and then they just gone like that bothered me for me to just see that lady like me to be the last person to talk to that lady in there like cause after I left like soon as I talked to her she was unresponsive after that so I went to work I was scared to go to the bathroom so I was holding my pee dang near for 12 hours because that's where she basically essentially passed away and I was so like scared I came home and I was talking to my mom about it on the phone I talked to my cousin about it and you know like co-workers and you know the job just went back to the job like and I, I kept thinking about other stuff like her husband like like her life like her kid like i just kept thinking about other stuff in this lady life like and this was years ago y'all but i just kept thinking about this lady life like her family go miss her like she was a nice lady and it was just like that could have been my grandma my mom like i just felt so bad and i eventually quit that job i ain't like that job anyway but that was one of the main reasons that made me just not i hated going to that job but that made me not want to go to it even more like i couldn't sleep it was making me like when anybody passed away i'm scared to go to sleep i don't go to funerals like it just i don't know just me seeing that lady and that was the last time she said something basically from what i know like i don't know what happened but she was unresponsive when it was on top of her like i don't think she ever gained that consciousness i don't know but just knowing that that was it like the way she just fell back and said she couldn't breathe and she needed that help and i was the last person in that bathroom at that time to see her like fully responsive oh y'all that did something to me but anyway I hope you enjoyed this story time with your girl and I will see you guys in the next video y'all oh but lord 
I still think about that lady to this day and I still throw a little prayer up, but I kind of put this story in the back of my head and it just made me think of it because I was talking to my mom about something. And you know, it's 2020, we done lost a lot of people. So it just made me, whew, it just made me think of that. But anyway, y'all, I hope I didn't get you guys too down and excuse my tree yes it is before the new year this is after christmas but baby my stimulato hit today i got my i got my stim i knew i left that tree up y'all talking about this bad look now i knew the, 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 the lord told me i was getting more gifts that's why that's why i got my stimulato okay got that that stimulatus check because of that see how y'all did Y'all missed your blessing playing around. Well, I'm, I'm still getting more gifts. I ain't taking my tree down. Anyway, y'all, I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you guys. Thanks for the support. And I'll see you guys later.